And one of the essential things you need to learn about toggles is first up, animation. Get your animations done. I've already discussed animations and how to make them on the guide. So have them ready. First things first, depending on what you're doing, you need to put in parameters. So for now, we got gesture left, gesture right. You'll find this controller on the guide as well. It's the basic controller. So these are your gestures. If you're just doing gestures such as shooting, they're done and already placed in here. So you don't need to do that. But if you're doing what I'm doing, which is weapons, then you need to add the following. If you have more than one or multiple weapons, you need to add a weapon to your left hand and a weapon to your right hand or any other weapons that are just like goofy. So I will do that. So we're gonna have a left weapon, left weapon, name it whatever, just remember what that is. And remember, case sensitive. Now, right web, R web. So these are easy to remember, it's what I use all the time. So my left weapons will be um, tied up with this. My right weapons will be tied with this. These are integers, whole numbers. We will not use floats. Floats are used for something such as hue shifts for little decimals. We don't need that. It's just a one, two, three, okay? All right, and let me have one more. All right, so let's do our gestures. Now, we have left hand, right hand. You can use these. I'm not going to use them because I had some issues in the past using these. But the reason why is I, the reason why I even have them on the basic controller is because if you click on here, if I want to do make a fist gesture, fist is equal to 1. Just remember that fist equals to 1. For peace, it's equal to 4. Etc. So if you're confused about what is what, what are their values, look here. All right, continue. So let's make our left gesture, which we have none. We just put it here because it's best to be prepared. It's not going to harm the model if we make extra layers, unless you put something weird in there. All right, right gesture. Now always, always weight is equal to one. Weight is zero is because we're doing testing in Unity. We need to manually make it one or it will not work. If, you're, if your animations do not work, it is likely because of you not setting the weight to one. All right, right gesture, let's put it down. New state. I always put a new state because that's our zero state. That is our standard state. It depends how you set it up. My standard state, everything is zero. No weapons are out, nothing. If you want it so that your standard state and manually put in that your mission rate is zero, go ahead. But that is just extra animations, and I, I don't do extra animations. If you want to be secure, make your own, but that is your zero state. When your hand is open hand or not that gesture, depending what animations you put in there, that is your animation. That is your set zero. All right, so now let's put in our animation. So let us do fist right, our right gesture, fist right. I have certain name calling, so... That's how I name my things. Right. Transition, transition. Always X design, zero. Turn this off. The reason why we have to make this zero before turning off is because we put this to one and then turn it off, it is still going to be right there. That value is still right there. That will add delay to your weapon. If you make a shot, there is delay. It is incredibly annoying. All right, transition duration, point one. We can't make it zero because it'll bug out. All right, we are not just your left, just your right, or whatever your condition name is, your integer name. Just your right equals one. If we don't make it equals one, if we make it between two numbers, we may run into an issue. And plus, you're going to have to be like, it has to be like greater than zero or greater than one and less than two. And that's, that's a little annoying. Just make it equals to one. One is fist. When it's equal to one, you're traditioning transitioning from your zero state to that one state. Your one state being that fifth state. All right, now we're gonna go back over here. Zero, Z click that out, make that one. Gesture right is not equals one. So whenever it's not a fist or that one state, it goes back to your zero state or whatever other gestures in here. So when you go from a fist to a point and that point has a gesture, then it leaves this state, goes through your zero state, then goes into that point state over in wherever in here. 
because you can add multiple in here. Let's say we have another, like I said, point state. Make a transition there, tra transition back, put it here, gesture right equals three. Turn everything off as always. And then gesture right is not equal to three. Go to zero state, make a point, it goes into this state. Make a fist, it's gonna get out of this state because it's stuck in this state. It needs to get out of this state. Then go back here, then go over here, then go in here. That is why I like keeping my zero state as nothing. That's your standard, nothing's on. Because if you have something on and it's transitioning, things are gonna go down. So just remember that. Play it safe, but you have to play it smart. Just be aware of what's on. Also, there's tendencies of if you leave melee systems on by default, the menu will kill you. So keep that in mind. All right, moving on, let's go to weapons. So left web, right web. I don't have a right weapon right now, but I do have a left weapon. Make sure everything is one. Crucial. All right, zero state, as always. All right, so I have a power sword. Slap that in there. <laughs> Transitions. Always put that down first. Always zero it out. We are going to make our left weapon equals, again, again equals to one. So when we toggle it, this will be our toggle state. When that toggle is on, on the power sword, the value is one. It's going to transfer into this animation, which turns on our sword. When you toggle it off, the value is not one anymore, and it's going to leave this state. So, left weapon is not equals one. Let's say you have, on your left hand, a power sword and a pistol, and you want to switch between those two. Uh, I don't know why you want to put, to put the pistol on your other hand, but I don't question your, uh, your life choices. Alright, so, over here. Zero. You know, same things. Left weapon is equals not one. We're not putting one in here anymore. The value is now two. If we put it in one, it's going to be a confliction between two values here. Our new value is two. So whenever you press the other toggle, the value is two. Now, I don't want to go on a tangent, but I'm going to skip over here because this is a crucial part. So ignore this, I'll talk about this later on the guide. So left web, right web. So let's jump over here first. This is an essential. Power sword. And then, uh, let's say it's pistol, right? Make sure also toggle, right? All right, power sword, left weapon, value one. That's our value. Over here, we put it here, it's also going to say one, but we have to put it two, right? So whenever you toggle this on, this is going to give our one value. That's our transition. Our one's right here. Our left weapon value is one. It's going to go in here. And then when you toggle off, the value is not going to be one anymore. But not only can you toggle it off, it's going to happen, but if you toggle this on instead of this, this will cancel. This will turn off. This toggle will automatically turn off. This toggle will now be on. What this creates is that somebody can't overlap weapons on top of each other. There can't be any cheating. This puts a force turn off depending on what you turn on. And again, you can separate this between two hands. This is on my left hand only. That my power sword and pistol can be um, either turned on or off. If I make a right hand for like a bolter and the right hand value is one, this is not going to conflict with this because this is a different par uh, parameter. So then I can have that power sword on and then a bolter on at the same time. And if I swap between a pistol, it's not going to bother this. This is a different integer. Even though the values is the same, it's on a different integer. So that's in a crucial thing we need to remember. But I'll discuss menus and parameters setups in a different time. Alright, so we don't need this because I only have a power sword. So this is the only thing I need. I don't need any more complex stuff here. Nothing on my right hand for now, but I will put an empty state here because this is not going to bother me. I'll also do this for my left gesture. Alright. 
And then last thing, I have something else I wish to add. All Imperial Fists have the ability to fist each other. Don't ask questions. So, if I add this over here again, like I discussed before with the left web, right ref, it, this will not conflict with each other because it's on a different integer. And I will actually put this as greater than zero since it takes less time. So over here, greater than zero and less than one because nothing else will go into here. I don't have to worry about conflictions here. This is the only state that's going to be in here. Yeah, basic toggles. Uh, any questions? Just leave a comment. <laughs> like and subscribe!